next is a urinal urinal is something what you can see this is a urinal so over here uh, this urinal is for the kids as you can see the height of this urinal is a bit smaller and this is for adults over here now this is one more fixture because again it demands water as well as same time it, it, it will be draining this uh, waste over here what is being produced so this if you can see I'm having is what one uh, what a uh, flow this I mean uh, sorry i'm having as a flush valve over here so flush valve you can see now don't compare as i said now don't compare with this with the laboratories because if you see over here this laboratories will be having very uh, oh, sorry this uh, flush valves will be having very small amount of the water because if i have a huge pressure over here or a huge amount of water for this cleaning it might disturb or this kind of things will be getting on the clothes so it's not there so you could not uh, compare this with the flush valve what i said it demands huge amount of water so don't get confused that no it's technically wrong if i say this will not the same flush valve what i was talking about that flush valve is being again installed in respect to the wc's only okay next fixture is nothing but a kitchen sink and you can see this is a kitchen sink in this also we do have some categories in the kitchen sink like single wool double wool the material of this kitchen sink will be mostly as what stainless steel as it's in the kitchen area and mostly in the water area so this is a kitchen sink over here okay and this is a service sink and uh, in this we do have two sinks over here single bowl and double bowl as per the application as per the usage this is single and double you can say so what happens over here as per the application this will be increasing hmm, or decreasing like a hotel industry and all this i'll be having double bowls over there now this is a service sink now this might be uh, a service sink now for a janitor's clinic you can say or this can be a kind of a portable uh, sink you can say nowadays next is a dishwasher dishwasher is nothing but again a kind of equipment actually now this equipment is need to be uh, arranged in such a manner that uh, it's been utilized or it's been used for what for the cleaning of the complete utensils in the kitchen area all i need to is just place the thing with respect to uh, the order like example plates should be in this manner spoons and whatever the things items from the kitchen should be placed in a systematical order and added with a detergent and on that's it will clean the complete utensils okay so this only demands only hot water not the cold plus hot because i'm dealing with what cleaning of the utensils evolution tap as I, as I said this is a peak demand area you can see all the taps will be used at the same time this design only for the peak demand this is cold and hot it might be electronic flush valve now the electronic flush valve is now being days used in terms of uh, WCs. It's nothing but a kind. It works on an infrared sensor. Okay, as you can see, this red color is nothing but an infrared sensor. What the sensor does is it senses the temperature of the human body, and what it does, it it releases some amount of water. And I think you people have observed that when the moment you place hand under the laboratories, it delivers some amount of water for the cleaning of the hand. <clears throat> right so what happens it's a green building concept actually this would be a bit expensive but nowadays they are using this just to save the uh, natural resources like water over here so what happened it delivers a limited amount of water then automatically shut off hmm. so this has its advantages over here like what advantages first of all is water saving and what happens second thing mostly it has been proposed in terms of hospitals and all this because uh, there are very less chances of the diseases spreading for example any guy is, is been uh, having some disease which is spreading then what we need to do is we need to have this kind of infrared sensors over there so that no one will be touching the taps and all this or this electronic flushing valve because no need to do no need to on and off because automatically it senses the temperature when it is uh, nearby human body temperature and the sensor uh, senses and releases some amount of water so now it can be seen in laboratories okay but it can be used for what uh, urinals also i think you have seen this isn't it 
because when anyone is done with the urinal automatically flush will be done no need to press and flush in terms of urinals okay but it's good for a uh, flushing purpose in terms of urinals and all this but it's very bad it has some advantages that okay it's water saving and all this but it has some disadvantages to at the same time now disadvantages is this it cannot be used as a mixer over here either i could have only cold water or hot water okay if it's a mixer that means i need to mix up a water i could not do the mixing either cold or either hot i can serve over here so in laboratories if i'm using the disadvantage is only cold i can serve or only hot it's not a mixer over here so in this manner electronic flushing valve good concept good to be used but again some it has some disadvantages what i talk now drinking fountain drinking fountain is something this will be seen in generally in public places it had different different scenarios it has some kind of button to press at the top so this the water comes in this kind of a jet of fountain or in this uh, manner all you need to just place the uh, of, of mouth under this and drink the water or else you can use your hand and drink the water in this manner the main thing over here is just not to touch this thing just to maintain what the hygiene and this will be generally as i said this will be mostly seen in the public place especially like railway station airports and all this why because if anyone might be having any diseases it's not been spread easily and without a container always remember and it demands what a portable water or a normal water not cold not hot water so municipal water i can say portable water is next is cooling tower now do not get confused why cooling tower now cooling tower is just again used because this is again actually HVAC part but this why I'm showing you over here is because whatever the piping I'm dealing with at the moment I said piping is a set of uh, plumbing is a set of piping so this HVAC chilled water piping and firefighting piping also comes under plumbing so just for your information we have added this image over here now water tap now what do you mean by water taps under water taps first of all what you're about to see is hose bib hose bib is something where you have some uh, option to attach a pipe so that you can carry the water in any direction and this is generally been in the parking area and in the rooftop area and the why this is being placed over there or why we have hose bibs in this area for the maintenance or the cleaning purpose we do have hose bibs over here second is faucet now faucet is this looks like and as you can see how to identify whether this is a faucet or no according to me this is a faucet and a mixer as i said now this red and blue color indicates on my left hand side is a hot water and this on my right hand side is a cold water and this is a mixer too this faucet is with chrome coated if you can see this chrome coated this color and that's why and now how you can visualize faucet is something online uh, that what you're seeing uh, the moment I place hand under under the faucet, I'll be getting is what a very uh, refined kind of thing. Okay, a, sm a smooth kind of flow under my hand. Okay, and I can observe is what I'll be having is what an air bubbles over here on my hand. So I can see. Okay, this is a faucet, and faucet always works in principle of angle valve because a slightly opening of the faucet is what i'll be getting the enough amount of water that means enough amount rep repents to what a sufficient amount of water so that the purpose can be served so always remember faucet works on an angle valve principle and how you can visualize first of all slightly open you'll be getting a sufficient amount of water so that the purpose can be uh, or served and the moment you place the hand under this you can sense a very smooth pressure and you'll be getting air bubbles so you can identify okay this is a faucet now let's talk about the tap now tap works on the principle of angle valve or oh, sorry gate valve why because uh, if you see this if i open if i twist this to one rotation complete i'll be getting small amount of water the moment i do two three four the moment i am rotating in anti clockwise i'll be getting higher higher what flow from the tap so this is how because inside i do have a gate over there okay the moment i am dealing with this what happens the moment i am rotating this the gate is lifting up 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 and the water what is been increasing because this gate is acting as a barrier over there and this is not a regulating valve the moment if i try to do this the gate valve function that's what i am saying so that's what if you say over here the difference between faucet and tap a slightly open i'll be getting required amount of water a sufficient amount of water i can say because it's an angle valve principle now you know this i think if you have seen in a physical manner how angle valve works and how 
uh, this gate valve works because we do have a welded small gate over there we need to rotate it when the gate is completely lift I'll be getting a water sufficient amount of so make sure gate valve is not regulating valve and make sure this uh, angle valve is a regulating valve okay so I can so if I try to do this with the gate valves or this tap what happens the gate inside this taps will be what damaged because of the pressure I could not use this okay but the main thing over here what I'm trying to say over here you people is the difference between this is this what is the the, the principle behind this is gate valve and the angle valve but the tap is this how it looks like and this should be rotated three to ten, four times in this manner so at the last note wc urinals and hose bib requires only cold water dishwasher demands only hot water so this is end of the chapter one okay and